Hi everyone, thank you for choosing .easy.com. I have a quick getting started video to jumpstart your .easy website account using WordPress. WordPress installation is free with our unlimited plan and our SSD hosting plans. Using WordPress to build your site is great because it allows for no coding experience. What you see is what you get when you're using it. You're also granted access to thousands of free WordPress themes and plugins within the WordPress dashboard. Whether you have plans to build a business website for contact info or a website to showcase your photography skills, WordPress is a fantastic way to create a professional looking website. With WordPress, it's possible to quickly build a professional looking website within an hour. The customer support team at DotEasy are extremely knowledgeable with WordPress technology. So we've created the WordPress resource site, which you'll have access to and is updated daily with free themes and plugins. We also include many step-by-step -step videos, which show installation to the completely customized finished product of a WordPress site. So we can jump right in. From the member zone login, we can enter our account details. Now we've reached the .easy member zone. From here, you'll want to select the option that says Access Site Admin Panel, cPanel. Now you'll be taken to the cPanel page, where you can select different web apps for your website. Since we're using WordPress, we can head down here to the bottom and select WordPress, where it says .easy Softaculous Apps Installer. So from here, we can just go ahead and click on Install. You'll be taken to a screen with numerous options that need to be filled out before the WordPress can be installed. Starting off, we have the option to choose which domain to use for the WordPress install. So that's right here, and you can see we have a drop-down menu, but I'll leave it at sample domain. If you have multiple domains attached to one hosting account, you'll find all of those there. Also here, you can see a section that says in directory. This section allows you to install WordPress in a specific folder within your domain name. For example, if I use blog to replace this default folder name WP, the website address would be www.sampledomain.net slash blog. This could be good for a business website, say if they wanted to have a blog attached to it with WordPress functionality, but I'll leave it blank. Now we can move down to the site name and site description. These aren't as important as they can be changed later once the WordPress is installed. Beneath the site settings, you'll see the admin account. Here you should use a username and a password that you'll be able to remember easily, yet secure enough that it can't be guessed. For the username, we recommend not using the word admin within the name itself. Now you can select the language of your website and underneath that, you can select if you wish to limit the login attempts. This means that you have a certain amount of tries to provide the correct login information for your site. We recommend this setting for added security. Finally, at the bottom here, we can select a theme that will be added to our WordPress site. You can scroll through the themes by using this arrow here. But keep in mind, these themes are optional and do not need to be used. So once you're satisfied, you can click finish and your WordPress will be installed. If everything was installed successfully, you'll see this screen here. You can check out your domain name here and access the editor by clicking on this link. So I'll just show you a few options we have when editing your WordPress page. We can click on the link beside the administrative URL and we'll be taken to the login page. Log in with the details you just entered and you'll reach the dashboard. So these two links, we strongly recommend bookmarking them. So this is your WordPress dashboard. And from here, you can customize your website. You can change the theme of the site by heading to Appearance and selecting Theme. Here you'll see your active theme and you can add more as you like. A great thing about WordPress themes is that most of them are responsive, meaning they are mobile friendly and will scale depending on the size of the screen. There are plenty of themes to choose from, so take your time and select one that fits your interests. Once you've chosen your WordPress theme, you can start building your site with your own content. 
If you need some inspirations for WordPress web design tips, once again, you can visit our resource site for a step-by-step -step video. For example, we have an in-depth video on how to build this professional demo WordPress website featured on our resource website. Give us a visit. WordPress also allows for plugins, which can be added by selecting the plugin selection over here. WordPress's plugin architecture allows users to extend its features. WordPress has a database of over 30,000 plugins, each of which offers custom functions and features enabling users to tailor their sites to their specific needs. These plugins can range from search engine optimization to client portals and even content displaying features such as widgets and navigation bars. So there you have it. With our unlimited and SSD hosting plans, you're granted full use of WordPress to create amazing sites. For those novice website builders who still want to try building their own website with less features, our basic plan allows access to the free website creator. It's found from the member zone right here. A note for those who only purchase a domain without a hosting plan, you'll need a hosting plan in order to launch your website and store your website files. If you have questions about our hosting plans, you can contact our support team and they'll be happy to offer you a recommendation to fit your needs. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. If you have any more questions, you can contact us through live chat, phone, or email. Thanks for watching.